if you people, you reach a level whereby you overcome personal temptation, sin is no longer going to be your portion. I want to tell you what affects our confidence is when we are not passing our challenges. If you say in the name of Jesus and you're not passing your challenge, you are under arrest. You are arrested by that challenge. In other words, you are speaking to yourself. You can see that. Let me say it again. The reason why when you say in the name of Jesus and nothing happened, I'll tell you, because you are still challenged by the challenge that makes you to fail. If you say in the name of Jesus, your character, the whole character of you, comes forward like this. I'm sure you understand it. You remember the king called Hezekiah, when the prophet said, set your house in order. And he said what? You remember? Huh? Go and read Isaiah 38. He said what? He said, when the prophet moved away, he faced the world. Lord, remember how I have worked. He, brought, he produced his CV. And the Lord said, hey, no, 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 no. This man is not worthy to die. Go back and tell him. We are aiding 15 years. I'm sure you understand that. The reason why our prayers are not answered, our CV is not right. When you say in the name of Jesus, you produce that CV. You can still pray with people, prophesy people, deliver people. If your CV is not right, you're not doing anything. That's why you find that you can say I'm delivering people. People still come back with problems to you. No solution. People are still sick. Your CV matters. In fact, that CV you produce when love dominates on it. Because love is like the blood on that CV. Love is like what? The blood on that CV. That CV say you are Christ. You bring Christ. And the blood of Christ will be visible there. From there, Satan will say, oh, I don't want to stay here again. But if not, you say the name of Jesus, and you think you're going to be blessed very quick. Remember, love does not make you to rush. Patience is working in you. You are looking at this, but it does not divert you from the love of Christ. That's what our challenge today that we call in the name of God before we check ourselves. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive. Before you check yourself, what are you receiving? In the name of Jesus, wh why saying? Because this thing is like you are speaking with yourself. This is the time now that we go back, we check ourselves. I'm sure you hear me. I mean, personal, this is what I can tell someone. This makes me to sin. I mean, this makes me, how can I become angry like this? How can I be angry like this? Before I come out today from my house, one man came there with a truck from, from electricity people to cut off the electricity of the house uh, that I'm staying in, on my house. So I came out there. And they say, oh, is this thing, it's personal. I don't own electricity. But this, look at this. Well, the stand is mine, but the name of Topia is not mine. I said, this is so much personal. I'm sure you understand that. So how, before I preach this message, I've been tempted before I come here. So temptation is always everywhere. I don't know if you're hearing that. So this year, God can make you better in Jesus' name. Amen. You, there, there, in, in Christian life, we conquer because of humility. 
That's how we call God. We move forward. Humble yourself. You'll be lifted. Humble yourself. You'll be lifted. But if not, what are we going to do? Always, we need to prove a point. We need to show. We need to do that. After you do that, I can give you an example. Uh, can I give you an example? All of you here, you are coming from different houses. What makes you special? What makes you special? Because in that house, there's a bed, isn't it? You are sleepy. You come back. When you're walking on the road, it, it, it doesn't show that you're coming from a best house. What makes you special? Why things of the way can affect us? So we need to reach a level whereby, you know, or maybe go to the mall. You'll meet people who are so beautiful, better than you, who came by taxi. So what makes you special is when you overcome your own temptation, not looking on these people. If you now you look at these people, you see this one is smaller than you, the way you behave to your master, you are required to behave to the one who's smaller than you. The way you greet this one who's bigger than you, you are questioned by this one who's smaller than you. If now, you see... I'll just say this and close to you. Let's take I'm bigger than you. How do you greet me? Come. How do you greet me? You greet me that way. So this one is smaller than you. How do you greet him? Go. How do you greet him? All right. You are greeting someone bigger than you. How do you greet him? All right. You are smaller than me. How do you greet me? So, how do you greet this one when this one is bigger than you? How do you greet? So, even you, you were supposed to be doing the way you did to me. So, all of you, you were supposed to do it. So, did you lose money? Did you lose your figure? So this is the thing that pride now came. God must help us. And then that's the thing that you, you find that sometimes God will leave us to our power. We end up using our own. Because, you know, the moment now you see this smaller one as nothing, God will show you you are small. The, that just moment, if you want to, now when you humble yourself, go say, ah, you are teaching the smaller ones that to be rich now doesn't make you bigger. You understand? Because look here, the more you are rich, you are, you are a slave. Even the house, they need butler, you are in prison. So when you are a prisoner now, why do you make somebody who's free like he's smaller than you? So the moment now when you start to live that free life, God will make you free. So I'm very happy for all of you. I believe today is your day. <laughs>